Hello, I'm Vince Hauser. I'm the owner here at Absolute Overhead Door, and today I am answering common garage door questions that we um, get on the phone or that we receive through our website. Uh, the next question is, why will my garage door open a remote control, not open my garage door? Well, um, there could be a few reasons why. Uh, first thing I would say is, is when you press the button, does the light on the remote control turn on? Um, if it does not, that's an easy one, change the battery. Um, pretty much all of the garage door manufacturer or remote control manufacturers, um, they won't lose the programming when the battery goes dead. So simply changing the battery will uh, typically take care of that problem if it's a, if it's a battery issue. Um, second thing is, uh, you might have a broken spring on the garage door, unfortunately. Um, if you have a broken spring on your garage door, it ain't gonna open no matter what you do um, with a garage door opener. That garage door opener is designed with safety mechanisms built into it that it will sense that you have a broken spring or you have something seriously wrong with the garage door and it should know to stop. Um, so, if that is the case, um, you hit the remote, it only moves a couple of inches, maybe a foot. Don't keep trying it. You're, all you're going to do is tear up the garage door opener or you're going to tear up the door, possibly even both, and then you're going to be in for a whole lot more money to fix what could be a fairly simple fix. Um, third thing, and this is, uh, it's gotten more common in the last few years with remote controls, but it could be, um, interference with the frequency of your remote control. And this one, um, um, some homeowners will argue and argue and argue about it, but um, as they'll say, well, this thing's been working for 15 years and I've never had a problem. Well, but the, 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 the issue is 15 years ago, even 10 years ago, there was nowhere near the Wi-Fi and radio and all the other signals that are out there um, that can interfere with that remote control. Because that remote control is all it's doing is sending out a radio signal um, to your uh, garage door opener. Um, big culprits are on top of those other signals is electrical interference. So if you've recently plugged in anything in your garage that's electrical, um, that can cause a problem. Um, sometimes it could be new appliances or something new that inside the house that can be electrical. Um, another big one is some LED lights. So if you put an LED light bulb in your garage door opener, sometimes that will cause it not to work. It creates too much interference. Um, so sometimes that can be a hard one to diagnose. Um, it could be that there are new electrical lines outside that, that cause the interference. Um, but usually when we, when we go to an interference call, uh, the, the number one thing is that you can like walk right up to the door, almost hold the remote control to the door, it'll work, stand back a few feet, it won't. When that happens, um, you definitely have an interference problem. You got one or two choices. Either test out everything around to try to figure out what it is that's interfering and don't use it anymore, um, a lot of times that's not possible. The only other problem, only other real issue, only other real fix to it is replace it. The new ones, everything has been out for about the uh, since the uh, about 2013, I believe, um, has a new frequency in it, um, and it's a different type of frequency. It's a narrow band instead of a wide band frequency. It's a much stronger frequency. So we've not seen hardly any issues on the new remote controls with uh, remote control interference. But those are the three biggest things that keep a garage door remote control from not opening the door. Uh, like I said, if it's got a broken spring, leave it alone, give us a call, it's right there, schedule it right there. Um, if it's interference, your best bet's to replace it. Same thing, we stock them on our trucks, call the number, hit the schedule now button. Um, if it's a battery, you can buy batteries a lot of places. All the all the uh, drugstores, Batteries Plus, Walmart, they all carry the batteries. 
just make sure you take the old battery with you so you match up to the new one. So once again, I'm Vince Hauser with Absolute Overhead Door, and uh, thanks for giving, the, giving us the opportunity to work for you. Thank you.